Hi guys, it's Omer from MMOHut.com and I'm going to do a first impression gameplay video for MLB Dugout Heroes, a free to play baseball themed MMO published by Games Campus, the same guys behind Asta Story. Now I'll spend about 5 to 10 minutes running around checking the game out, make quick comments. If you guys want to learn more about it or just play the game yourself, check out our full review on MMOHut.com on the link on the right sidebar. Here we go. Now, first thing I want to say is that Games Campus, the guys behind MLB Dugout Heroes, actually have a deal with the MLB, so they can use all the real player names in the leagues, which makes the game a bit interesting, especially if you're into baseball. So when you log in over here, we have to create our character. Let's confirm our name availability. All right, confirm. That's the name of myself over here. And we have to select one of our leagues over here. I'm going to go with the American League, because uh, Americans are the only ones who play baseball. Alright, and we can pick one of our teams over here. I'm going to go with the New York Yankees as my symbol over here. Central Division. Uh, I, to be honest, I have no idea what these mean because I am not a baseball fan. But I'm just going to select some stuff and see what happens. Oh, I just picked my team over here first. Click next. All I know is the Yankees are really good. And I know some of you guys are going to hate me for saying that, but I totally know nothing, nothing about baseball. So, Alright, here's my basic player list over here. I don't believe I can customize this yet. Well, let's, let's hit complete over now, over here. Now, all the players are actual players from the various teams. But you can eventually customize your teams and customize your characters to really suit your own, you know, interests. And we can see over here the flowchart for the game. Let's just game start. You know what? We're going to man up and skip all this tutorial nonsense and just play the game. MLB Dugout Heroes over here. Bank tutorial? Nah, skip tutorial. To be fair though, before I actually launched this game, I completed the tutorial on my other account, but I only did, did the tutorial, I didn't actually play the game yet. So let's play online. And this is cool, we have the mission cards. These seem to be just kind of quests in the game, and quests for a baseball MMO may sound weird, but basically it seems like if I hit 5 singles, I get 1000 nuts. That's a lot of nuts. But that's the game's currency, which is pretty obvious. Let's close this window for now, and there are even weekly missions over here, which adds some more uh, direction for the game. And this is actually one of the more popular games that Games Campus publishes. And let's go ahead and join one of these games right here. Play to win. Ready. Alright, I am playing as the Yankees over here. 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. This guy is 1-1, so the teams do seem pretty fair. I do strongly recommend you guys check out the tutorial before you actually play the game because it can be a little bit confusing at first. Now this screen over here is for my starting lineup. I can change my batting orders and my pitchers. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this default and start. Alright, you know what? Because I'm a man. I would change this stuff around. I got this. And of course, you can change it around to fit, you know, depending on who you're playing against. And uh, as any sports MMO properly has, there's an announcer. Basically, gameplay mechanics are quite simple. I just have to... Basically, I can move around... I got strike. Right now, I'm, I'm the batter. I can move the area I'm going to hit with the mouse, and I hit S to swing, or left mouse click. Simply enough, I have to just see where he's going to hit it, and then play it at the right time. And as you see, I missed twice now. Come on, guys. Gotta make contact. Oh, that was terrible. So yeah, I just got struck stricken out over there. And you get to play as both the pitcher and the batter. But once the inning changes over here, at least until I get three outs, gameplay mechanics are pretty straightforward. But it is a little bit difficult to master. You're gonna see me sucking it up for a little while until I get my groove on. Come on. It's a lot easier in the tutorial, I guess other players aren't as good. So it seems like my characters run automatically once I hit the ball. So right now all I get to do is bat. And we'll see what happens when the pitcher. And here we go. BAM! What a pro shot right there. What a hit. What a hit. Come on, first base. Look at that. Safe. Obviously safe. Come on. I'm a pro. So now we got my second batter up over here. Or my third actually. My one guy got stricken out. Another pro hit. A grounder. He just missed it. So now I got two bases loaded. Now I think I can choose to keep running if I wanted to, but it wasn't worth the risk. Here we go. And what makes the game really awesome, I believe, is that it has all of the actual player names and each of the players themselves have varying stats. So there's an enormous amount of customization. What was that? Alright, I don't know what that was. That was some crazy stuff over there. So where the game really shines is an enormous amount of customization. Each individual character you can actually train. Oh, I just got stricken out again. Three outs. Ugh. Now I'm basically playing as the pitcher over here. And you can see, these are all different kind of balls I can throw. This is a fastball. I don't know what half of these are, so I'm going to go with the fastball. And I can choose where I want to throw the ball. 
Jesus, man, my guy's fat. Uh, I'm gonna go for this corner over here. And this is accuracy, a little power meter down there. The closer I get to the center over there is the more accurate it is. So I did get my first strike. And the goal as a pitcher is to just vary your shots a lot so you can't see it coming. And there is a great deal of skill involved in the, in the game. Especially when you're batting. Not so much pitching. That's right, Johnny Damon. He's got my back. Catching my balls. So, and these are my varying stats with all the different pitches. Apparently the character I'm playing right now is the best with the fastball. So let's stick with that. Here we go. Come on, strike him out. Oh my god, he's in the... Come on, Johnny Damon's got this. This guy's a pro. Catching all the balls. He's my star player right here. Come on, let's go for this corner again. They are tricky. And uh, one thing you should try doing is always try hitting a few balls every now and then. I'll show you. I can try confusing this guy by hitting it over here. And if he takes a swing at it, it'll be a strike. But he should really just not even hit it. Let's see if he goes for it. It is a lousy foul ball. And basically, the pitcher I'm using right now is actually gaining skill. At the end of the game, he'll actually grow some of his stats because I use him as a pitcher. And the batters themselves will also gain skill based on the outcome of the game. It's a hit. It's an easy one. Come on, Derek Jeter, you got this. He's another very uh, famous name in be uh, baseball, so I do know him. Look at that. I'm holding my own. My first game here, and uh, I'm doing all right. Now you can see my arc is pretty big to hit the ball. So it's not that hard to hit. But if I want to be ballsy, I learned this in the tutorial. And I click Q, and doing so makes my target are really small. But if I hit it with this, it'll be like almost a guaranteed home run. Or a much more powerful hit. But since I'm not too confident in myself, I'm going to go with the, the big one here, the big arc. Ugh. Strike out. What is this? Oh. I, and there's a lot of items you can buy in the store with the nuts you get. The nuts can be spent for various uh, one-time use items down in the bottom you can see over there. As well as miscellaneous clothing and equipment for my characters. That damn Garrett Anderson. Catching my balls. And there are a few cash out items that can really ruin the game. But for the most part, it's not that bad. Now, it'd be really funny if they actually sold uh, steroids in the cash shop. Wouldn't that be something? You know, you pay like 10 bucks and you get steroids, and your characters just always get home runs. That'd be awesome. Alright, alright. I gotta run around first. Gotta, gotta use my advantage here. Ugh, these low balls are tough. And you can even see the, the stats of each ball, how fast it went. Now, uh, another thing worth mentioning, I'll, sh I'll show you right now. I click exchange at the top right. I can simply substitute characters at any time. So you can see my character's various stamina levels over here. And as I use players, they'll lose stamina. So I don't want to use the same players all the time, especially if we're pitching in, in the outfield. So it's good to rotate them every once in a while from the guys on the bench, which adds even more depth to the game. So I'm going to switch my pitcher with this dude over here. And again, these stats don't mean that much to me because, uh, again, I'm not a big baseball fan, but I'm sure baseball fans will definitely have a heyday with this game. Ah, he tried going for a steal over there. Now the game is incredibly high quality, and even though the gameplay mechanics themselves are quite simple, it's really hard to master. It takes a lot of work to master. Three outs. It's a zero-zero game right now, so it's not too bad. I love announcers. They just say random things. They can. <laughs> it's like playing those EA games. They have announcers as well. Strike one. I'm going to go with, oh, I was going to try hitting him with the ball, but I can't go that far up. But let's see what happens. Look at that. Perfect. He's in, let's see if he goes for it. Oh, he's smart. He didn't swing at it. I know in actual baseball, if you hit them, it's like a foul or something, or they get the wall. But it doesn't let me do that in this game, which sucks. And as an outfielder, uh, we haven't actually seen this yet because uh, oh, Alex Rodriguez catching the balls. I'm going to keep doing these fastballs because I suck with everything else. So that's what my pitcher's good at. If you're looking for a baseball game, this is definitely the game to play. And it's actually, oh my god, I, I wasn't paying attention. But anyway, I can simply uh, throw it to the first base, second base, or third base by hitting W, A, D, and S. And you can see them outlined over here. So yeah, I got to pay more attention. But it's still surprisingly even, so I'm all, it's all good. Come on, Johnny Damon, you got this. This is like your fourth ball. Oh, yeah, boy. Johnny Damon is the man. And this is a game you can just pick up and play. Oh, my God. I forgot when I catch it, I got to throw it. Oh, my God. It's terrible. What am I doing? I thought I caught that right away, though, so it would have been an out, but I guess not. 
Archer enters his lineup. Enters his lineup. And Headed directly towards him. Now see, I hit D real fast. He's gonna throw the first. Come on. Save my ass. How much is he paying the umpire? What is the shenanigans? So now we got runner on first and third. As the announcer just said, I got to play a little bit better here. Foul. Foul ball. I'm gonna try doing this one. Let's see what happens. This is an obvious ball. Hopefully he goes for it. Come on. Ah, it's a grounder. And he got one across. Damn. If you guys are looking for a baseball game, like I said, this is top notch. Graphics aren't too special, but the game does support basic widescreen resolutions. And the graphics are actually not bad at all. Mm. Strike one. Let's go with uh, fastball again. Anyway, guys, I'm running out of time. If you guys want to play MLB Dugout Heroes or just learn more about it, check out our full review on MMOHut.com on the look on the right sidebar.